Most people in America are familiar with what is and isn't proper behavior on behalf of a manager for a corporate organization in any satellite network or store. What we absolutely know about grocery stores is that their job is to keep constituencies of all types moving in and out of their doors. The liars of America like to pretend that they're doing something lawful. But the truth is, when a man tells you on behalf of your corporation that you must contact a corporate office with information about your programs that are non for profit to receive some sort of food donation, then by two months later, the person who is asking for that information should be able to receive it without any consternation from your manager. What I discovered today when I followed up now, two months later, patiently waiting for the manager of that store to approach me for the numbers times almost daily that I shop at that store, was that he was basically unwilling to stop stocking the shelves and moving pallets to go handle finding that contact information for me while I was shopping through the store. That is a very immature, unprofessional action. Then when I called out to him to say, let's have the number, my time is valuable, basically, as what I had to approach to when he turned his response to me when I called out to him was, just a minute, buddy. I'm not your buddy. I'm a guest and a customer, a shopper, a buyer of taking my discretionary dollars in your store, whether it's the smallest amount or not. But here's the deal. How much I spend every single day in your store, added up over a month, will equal to how much probably person shops two or three times a month in your store spends. So let's be clear, how a person spends their money in a budgeted time of year during COVID pandemics and epidemics is up to the individual shopper. But how you handle that shopper in your way, in your care, on behalf of your national organization, Kroger, is a major situation in your life. You should have stopped immediately, gone to get the phone number, get the contact information, and provided it back to me by the time I got to the cashier in the line so that I didn't have to be slowed down in my business day despite what you think of me, despite what you think of my ride, despite what you think of my clothing, despite what you think of how I might smell and any type of incontinence, despite what your little attitudes on life are.